All right, so like I said yesterday, today I'm going to be sanding the floors. So the first thing that I want to do is try out a couple of different tools and come up with a game plan and kind of see what would be the best way to go about doing this. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. hard to see because of the lighting but I have two of these sections done now so this is kind of what it looked like before what it looked like after so it's actually now Monday I was working on the bus on Saturday and after spending a really long time on the first two sections of the floor um, I thought maybe I was going a little overboard with this because I know I had seen other people using rust converter so I just felt like maybe I was going not really taking too much of the floor out to the point that it was ruining the floor but I felt like I was kind of wasting my time just being I guess a little perfect in um, how I was going about doing it so I ended up posting a live video on one of the Facebook group sites about what I was doing and if people thought I was doing too much. Um, so I kind of took a, a pause on the work on Saturday and it turns out a lot of people really did think that I was going a little overboard with it. Um, and then I had my dad come and look at what I was look at, um, look at what I was doing and he agreed and pretty much told me to stop. So um, I ended up getting half of the bus done after I switched gears so that's seven of the sections and I spent about the same amount of time on two of them that I spent on the other five that I got done so that just goes to show you how how much I was I was doing on those two sections so I came home today and I finished sanding the floors and I ended up using another method so if you're looking to do a bus conversion, um, you should definitely check out all the different methods that I use. I'll show you before and after for each one and then we'll talk about the tools I used. So these are the first two sections that I started with. Um, as you can see, I did a really light surface removal um, over the whole thing. You can see the difference in this panel and this panel is a lot bluer. Um, and then on top of that, I went into each one of these individual spots and tried to work um, the rust down until I could at least start seeing some of the metal underneath, um, mostly where it was really bad. And this, I was told, was way too much work. And I had already started on these ones um, before they had stopped me, so I had done the spot a spot treatment and then I was about to go over the whole thing um, just the surface of it really lightly but I was told that that's kind of unnecessary so this is what I switched to you can obviously tell the difference between that and that there's a lot more of the metal showing over here um, but if you get close you can kind of see that it's to the point where there's some shininess showing here all this is not flaky so we made sure we got all of the heavy flakes out and kind of got it down to a flat surface but we didn't you know um, take as much as what was happening here and it looks like it's deep but it's it's really flat it's barely 
barely any more honestly than than this stuff. Um, I did find one small hole from the rust here and one small hole on the back of the wheel well here. I can't really see it, um, but it's right here. So um, they're not too big. We'll probably just patch them up the same way we're gonna patch all these holes from the seats. Um, and I did these and this one. And then this is what my dad was doing. So he didn't pull out the grinding wheel at all. He just straight used the wire brush on all of this. Um, but again, you can kind of see some of the metal just barely shining through. There's definitely no flaky rust left. And up here you can see this is what we started with. So all of these spots were super, super rough and flaky. And you know, you could just you know, straight up just pick up pieces off the floor. Um, you can tell it's a lot more textured here. Definitely drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, specifically, do you guys think that we're ready to go ahead and put some rust converter on this stuff? Or do you think that I should make the rest of these panels look like the first two that I was working on? tools that we were working with um, we had or I started with this this drill that had a brush on it and the brush is really similar to the brush that was on here but as you can see that is now completely gone um, and I was using just a regular grinding wheel to do some of the spot treatments that's why you can kind of see these kind of back and forth little scratchy marks so that's from the, the grinding wheel. But really, to be honest, all you, you probably would have really needed to be sufficient was one of these. Obviously, it was used the most. Um, it's, it's gone. And uh, the only thing we really definitely needed this for was not, was not for sanding. It was, um, I had a whole bunch of screws that were left, especially around the wheel wells. Um, nail heads and screw heads that were sticking up out of the floor so you can kind of see here there was one um, those had to all be grinded off because they had rusted into the floor and we couldn't pound them through or pull them out so we grinded grinded those um, the rest of it we could have done with this and originally if you're really interested in getting it to look like those two original panels get yourself one of these wheels it's a paint and rust remover um, but they get torn up real real fast so don't use it on any kind of real flaky nastiness but once you get it to the point where it looks like this um, and you want it to look like this beautiful blue color use that wheel works great And for those of you that don't know, these are just two angle grinders and you can buy different wheels that go on them. I also really want to say thank you to the people in the school bus conversion group that I spoke with on Facebook. Um, you guys really helped me out on Saturday when I was in the middle of working and had some questions and no one around to ask, ask the questions to. Um, and you definitely gave me really great advice. I really appreciate it. You guys have been giving me advice throughout this whole experience, you know, buying the bus, getting the bus home. Um, every time I've asked for help, everybody's been so responsive. Um, so thank you so much. And anybody else out there that's looking for some kind of group or community to be a part, with, a part of, I would highly recommend this Facebook group. It's called School Bus Conversion on Facebook. It's a closed group. You just got to ask um, to join and it has about 15,000 members 
um, so far and they're like I said they're really responsive really supportive so if you're looking for a group I would definitely check them out thanks for watching please like and subscribe below to see more you can also follow Bluebird Parkway on Facebook Instagram and Twitter the best place to chat with us is on Facebook and to see up-to-date photos check out Instagram